Okay, so this is a test of Bubble Champion. Um, I'm going to try to play this while holding this camera at the same time. We'll see how that goes. We have a little background music. There's a party going on. So, can't do anything about that. Probably a wedding or something. So, this is a skill-based game, which I really like. Um, I play... Uh, Candy Crush Saga for the purpose of research. I'm on level 68 and I don't think that I will ever play that game again um, simply because I have this and because of that this provides all of the things that that I'm looking for in a game and then I can play it whenever I want, stop it whenever I want and continue on from there so and you can do different strategies. This is a, probably a faster level than I should have chosen. Um, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get killed. So I need to get purple quick. There we go. Okay, so, and then. So you can see it's a skill-based game. It's not just, you know, you play and it's a luck of the draw. That's the thing about Candy Crush Saga. Candy Crush Saga is, brings in a million dollars a day. Um, but for me, the couple things that I've noticed about playing the game, like I said, I only started playing it for research. It really stresses me out. It actually raises my blood pressure and makes me angry, which is really not something I need to do in between talking to customers or different people because then I'm in a bad mood. Um, but I've tested it, I've you know gone away you know, when I was calmer, came back, and it does, it just, it irritates me because it's, um, it's really the luck of the draw. You just keep playing it and losing until you, the right combination comes up and then you can win for it. There's no, there's no skill involved in it. And, um, it has certain, it has these levels that they don't tell you, um, they don't tell you how to play it. They don't tell you what you need to do. And so you learn by losing. That's how you learn. You spend your lives that you have, and you have a limited number of them, and you spend them learning how to play the game. And um, I just don't, like I said, I don't like that. Um, and uh, my son actually said the same thing because we were out and um, he was playing Candy Crush Saga because there was the, it was the only thing on my device. And he goes, I don't like this game because you can't figure out how to play it. The only way you can play it is by spending lives and then eventually you'll figure out, oh, okay, well that's how you do it. And that's how I get through this level. And then of course, then you have to actually attempt to do the level. Here I'm gonna try to bounce it off and hit the blue, see? <laughs> so, um, and here I'll try to do that again. So um, it's a strategy game. Um, you want to have a strategy and, you know, if you lose, you'll, but I'm totally relaxed. I'm just totally in love with this game. Um, I can't, you know, I don't want to do anything else. I have a lot of work to do right now and I don't want to do anything else to play this game. And it just gives you such a good, um, a good feeling and like I said, it's just a, it's just a really great game. Okay, so that was probably a bad idea. Let's see. Um, but as you can see, the graphics are really awesome. You got your little cheerleader down there. Um, I gave this. Uh, um, it's really small. As you can see, I'm playing it on an iPod, and so it's really small. And I need glasses because I've been working on the computer. 24 hours a day practically seven days a week for the last 15 years and so my eyes are really bad but I haven't gone to get glasses because I just don't want to um, but I really 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 need them I just can't see small stuff so I can't read really a lot of this stuff I couldn't read the directions on how to play it um, but I easily figured it out and I didn't lose a life to do it I didn't I, I've never lost a life life to figure out how it works um, and to me that's really, you know, important in a game. So, um, so I, um, oh, I thought I switched that, but I guess I didn't. Okay, let's try to balance it off here and hit that of the red. <laughs> no, this ain't gonna work. Okay, we'll just get there to this then. But, um, 
You can see, can you see how when the little bubbles, let me, let me switch and see, see when the little bubble bursts, it's like a real bubble, it splashes, I really like that. Um, but this is just, a, it's a really, really great game, and as I said in my recording, there's something magical about this game, somebody else said the same thing about it. You feel a real, uh, almost affection to it, which is really, really weird when I'm playing the game. I just, I notice how I gently, like if I have to work, I gently place it down and, 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 and just like, a, like it's a little pet going, okay, well I have to work, you just wait right there and then I'll be back and, <laughs> and play with you again. So it's just, it's just a really, really wonderful game and I, I think, I think because it is skill-based, and what I mean by skill-based, don't misunderstand what I mean by skill-based. Um, intelligent people don't like to just play random games of chance. Um, you want to be able to get better at what you're doing. Let me go to a different screen. I'm trying to do it on the other phone. Um, quit. Let me try a different one. Um, but you you want to be you want to be challenged. You don't want to um, you don't want to just you know keep playing over and over. As you see, I completed all the levels on, the, on this one. <laughs> um, but uh, and, and and it's fun. Actually, I'll be honest with you. I haven't I haven't lost a life at all. I've completed a lot of levels and I've never lost. Um, and you might think, well, well, then it's too easy, but but I don't agree that it is. It's 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 skill based, and I like the fact that I'm not just going to constantly keep losing lives. Um, and and th there's a reason that they want you to lose lives in those other games because then you'll get your friends to play, so you can get more lives. And I don't really know if that's ethical. <laughs> in fact, I know it's not. So, um, but this is just a really, really fun game. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to switch the little character. So let me do that next. I don't want this video to be too long or it'll be too hard to put it in there, so I'll do more. But I wanted to, to, to sort of show you how, how this, this game works. And now I can imagine that I'm going to get to levels that are really hard, that I'm going to, that I'm, and I am going to lose a life and I'm going to have to strategize the best way to come back and, and re-attack that. But it's just, it's so relaxing, it just free, clears my mind, it sharpens my mind, because I have to think to play this game. And that's not really the case with um, any of the other games that I've ever played. So I just think this is an awesome, awesome game. It's, um, it's, I mean, people are just absolutely going to love this, and they're going to get really addicted to it, and they're going to want to play. But the thing, it's it, to me, it's okay to get addicted to it if 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 you're learning from it, if you're if you're actually thinking and sharpening your mind, and not just doing mindless stuff. Because, like I said, this is this is a strategy game, and the point that I was going to make about strategy games is that. Um, Mindless doesn't, mindless only works for so long, you know, and then eventually you're just like, oh, I'm bored with this. You, you don't, there's no sense of accomplishment, accomplishment with it. So, you know, people are going to get bored with that and the, the days that they're, they're going to be limited into to how long that they continue to play this game. But to me, I see that this is just going to be one of those things that people, oops, I didn't see that one because I'm talking and playing at the same time. Watch, I'm going to lose a life. I shouldn't have said that. Um, <laughs> well, not lose a life, but I've never lost a round. I've never actually had it collapse out on me. Um, but, um, and I keep forgetting to go, but this is what I need to do. Um, well, I guess I've shown you, shown, given you an idea of, of of how it works. There's a little bird that flies out here that opens the store if you want to buy, you know, different things to make the game easier. Um, those things, people, there are people out there that absolutely will buy those things and they'll spend tremendous, inordinate amounts of money on it. Um, and while it isn't something that I personally do, I know so many people who do. So, um, it's good for us. <laughs> It's good for us as business owners. The fact that the game is addictive, how did I miss that? The fact that the game is addictive is, is, and gives you a good feeling is also good. And 
it, it, this is hard to play <laughs> while holding another phone. It really is. So, um, but as you can see, it the graphics are just really, really good. Um, and it's just really fun to play. And this is just one of the games. The other games are just just awesome too. That I think the team has just done a absolutely spectacular um, job with this with this game. Now, if I say quit, and then I go back, can I get to where? There, I'm going to choose a different character. So, oh, I also, I don't know if I, I, <laughs> I keep starting these stories. It's hard for me to speak and do this at the same time. I'm not like David Martin, who can, who can hold a conference call while playing, <laughs> while playing video games and demonstrating them. I'm not like that. <clears throat> but the point um, that I was making about not being able to see is that, to me, it said that, well, if I can still play this game and figure out how to play it without losing a life, it means that since I can't read it, it's the same as if I can't speak English because it doesn't matter what it says because I can't read it. And so um, I had a friend come over that doesn't speak any English at all, and I just handed her, handed her the iPod and pointed at the icon and said, play this. And she did. She played the game. She didn't ask a single question like, well, what do I do? How do I do this? How do I do that? Never. She played it for like um, a half hour till her baby started crying. She had to hold it. <laughs> um, she tried to play it with the baby in her hand, but it was hard. <laughs> uh, but um, I think she felt guilty for doing it. <laughs> um, but she said, wow. She goes, your company made this? This is awesome. This is so much fun. So I thought that that was, that, that was great. And I plan to do that with everybody that I know because nobody I know speaks English, unfortunately for me. <laughs> but um, but um, she... But she absolutely loved it. So I'm going to, you know, try it with a bunch of people and see if anybody ever does ask me any questions. But to me, that proved the point that um, this game will work in, internationally for people because you can, they don't need to learn, they don't need to know English um, in order to play this game. So um, I think that's pretty awesome. All right, thanks for joining me. Take care. Have a good day.